Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn problems on time and distance. Speed, time, distance. Speed into time is equal to distance. Anybody can answer questions on problems on time and distance, right? Any illiterate can answer. For example, if you ask a question, uh, someone in bike, someone travels with the speed of 120 km per hour and he travels for 10 hours, what is the distance covered? Anybody can answer, right? But here, we need some formulas to answer some of the questions in time and distance. Speed into time is equal to distance, STD. Time is equal to distance by speed. Speed is equal to distance by time. And we should know the conversion also for kilometer per hour to meter per second. If we convert kilometer per hour to meter per second, multiply by 5 by 18. For example, 108 kilometer per hour. How to convert it to meter per second? Multiply by 5 by 18. Why 5 by 18? Kilometer per hour. Kilometer, 1000 meters. Per hour. Hour is 60 into 60. 60 minutes, 60 seconds. So, if we convert that, 5 by 18, right? So, 5 by 18, 108 by 5 by 18. Now, we can multiply and divide or divide and multiply. Both are right, but which is better? Attitude is all about approach. How we approach a problem. See, here, 18 is there, 108. 108 is multiple of 18. How many 18s are there in 108? 9 18s are? Sorry. 5 18s are? 19. 108, 6 18s. So 6 5s are 30. So 30 meter per second. Right? So we should know the conversion also. Kilometer per hour to meter per second, meter per second to kilometer per hour. To convert kilometer per hour to meter per second, 5 by 18. And meter per second to kilometer per hour, 18 by 5. Okay? Next step. Average speed. We know the average speed. General formula for average speed is total distance covered by total time taken. Or these are the special cases where the distance was same. A to B and B to A. A to B there is a speed. Speed S1. Time taken T1. When he comes back from B to A, speed changes. S2. So time also changes. So when the distance was same, average speed is 2 S1 S2 divided by S1 plus S2. We can derive this formula from this formula. Total distance covered how much? 2D divided by T1 plus T2. We solve this, we get this. Right? So when average speed, when the distance are same, is 2 to A into S1 into S2 divided by S1 plus S2. Right? Next is average speed when the times are same. First one hour, it travels the speed of 50 km per hour. Next one hour, it travels the speed of 60 km per hour. The times are same. So when the times are same, average speed is just average. S1 plus S2 by 2. Right. This is the concept of problems on time and distance. You should remember all these formulas. How time and distance is different from problems on trains. That we will check in the next video.